I want to at least place, I have to harvest as many urchins as I can. I can't see any of the other guys, so I have no idea of how I'm doing. My only chance to place is to keep picking for as long as I possibly can. Well, I'm out of air. You're out of air. I'm as dry as dry could be. I'm empty. Okay, here comes Ian's last bag. Oh, holy smokes, you don't got any air left. <laughs> now that's an urchin diver. The experienced guys, they're going to be down there. They're going to be breathing their tank right down to empty. As they get closer to the tank being empty, it gets harder to get the air out of the regulator. My tank is empty. By my calculation, I've got only four minutes of air left. Any recreational diving instructor would have made me surface ages ago, but I'm staying down here until I get every last urchin I can. Bob's still down there picking. There's times when you're picking urchins and you're into the job and you're not thinking about it. All of a sudden, it gets hard to breathe. I've really pushed it, and now I have to scramble to the surface. But as I start to ascend, I get horribly tangled in the kelp. As I struggle to release myself, my air tank seems to seize up. I suck hard on my regulator, but there's not a drop of air left to be had. I start to panic when my cameraman sees I'm in trouble. He drops his camera, rushes over, hands me his backup regulator, and drags me to safety. Hey, what's going on? You all right, Bob? You run out of air? Yeah. Uh, I was, and I got tangled up. Yeah. Just as I was running out. Oh, that's for real, all right. That was intense. Frankly, I'm just lucky to be alive. I take a few minutes to come to terms with my ordeal. Now that I'm safe and sound, my competitive spirit returns. I want to see which one of us is going to walk the plank, because after all, a bet's a bet. Let's get the scale warmed up. Tony, you're up first. What's that, Tony? 316. That's a pretty nice haul. First lift for Ian. 284. Second lift for Ian. 196. That's 480 total. Substantial. Wes is next. 254 for Wes. It looks like it's me. And you, big guy. Yeah. It's going to evolve. I think we'll get out there in the middle where it's ice cold Pacific Ocean. Obviously, the training we gave Bob paid off. I'd be more than pleased to have him work along my side any day. I was a complete fool for running my tank to zero. He gave me the edge I needed to beat Wes at his own game. You know, in the old days, the losing warrior would maybe give up his sword. I give up my rake to you. Wow. Hey, All right, hey. just get in there! <laughs> what was it? Went for all! It all went! All right, Bob! <laughs> well done. Awesome. <laughs>